Welcome back to Facing Waves. This week, Nikki Gregg is exploring Tursuyuk National Park in northern Quebec, and her first stop is Lac Tassuyak, the second largest lake in the park and home to a number of archaeological sites. I've been sea kayaking before, a long time ago, many times, but I've never gone on a multi-day expedition like we did here in Lac Tassuyak in Tuxuyuk Park. And our trip is five days long, so we're camping for four days and we have five days of exploring and paddling. So today, what the, really the highlights of the day that we're going to see on this trip from here to Sukuk River, uh, mainly we're going to have a beautiful view on the Cuestas, so around 350 to 400 meter cliffs, uh, beautiful. And we'll also uh, go to the end, uh, the mouth of Sukuk River, which is a, a well-known fishing area of Inuks, and you will see it's a beautiful place. Along the way, it was, it was beautiful weather. We had a little bit of headwind, but it was, it was a pleasant day. It was sunny. But as far as the kayaking conditions, it's been absolutely epic. Great scenery, and um, I, I love this place for that reason. It's just lots to look at. So we're here now in beautiful Lac Tasuyak. Tasuyak meaning in Inukstuk, like a lake. You can see far away uh, from us the beautiful cuestas. Just behind us, we have two giant glacial grooves. We call that in French marmot, I don't know the name in English, but the effect is uh, the glacier, the water melt from the glacier, it goes in the big crack in the ice field, catch some rocks, and that rock starts to spin, to spin in the ice, and they make that big hole that we just saw on the rocks. It's vertical hole. Some of the benefits of sea kayaking that I enjoyed, that I had forgotten, was the whole sitting down aspect of it, that you could sit down and, and relax a little bit more. The sea kayaks are definitely designed to cut through the water nice and smooth, and the rudder system just makes it so easy just to keep paddling and be able to direct your course like you want to without having to correct yourself all the time. Um, and if it's windy, it's very efficient because you're sitting down, you're out of the wind, and it's, it's just a lot easier on your body overall. So what makes this place so special? Why would anyone want to come here and check this place out? Well, you can see just the beauty of it, the isolation of it. We're far, far away. We're so, we're in, now we're 56 parallel. So we're pretty much in the north. We had northern lights. Uh, it's all the history and the culture. It's the Inuit culture is still intact here. People, they're still living off hunting. Uh, it's all hunting territories here. We have to be really respectful of the local population. It's good. We're just visitors here. The days of paddling aren't too long. <laughs> um, so we're doing like 15 kilometers a day, which is definitely doable if you have your basic fitness level. Here in the north, it's really all about the weather. Huh? So today we have a really nice sea, calm, uh, we can paddle really fast, no wind. The whole trip, if everything, if the weather is like that, the whole trip will do about 100 Ks. If the weather gets bad, maybe 50 Ks. So they get the weather report twice a day because it does change so quickly. So they use the satellite phone to get an accurate weather report. And if the weather conditions aren't favorable, we'll uh, rearrange our plans. We're now paddling maybe halfway through the whole uh, Black Tessuyak. Uh, we're following a long, really long point that's, that was our wind blocker for the last two days. Now the wind is on our side. We have it straight in the back, so we're going pretty fast. And we're going to head to Caribou River. So we're going to set up our camp there for the night. And hopefully weather is going to be on our side. The distance that we didn't manage the last two days were okay. You know, 10 kilometers a day, maybe 15 maximum, because there's so many nice spots to see, to stop. We have many beaches and also another opportunity that we have on this lake, we have wood that we, we can make fire because there's a lot of driftwood, which is very different when you go a bit up north in Nunavik, there's no wood at all. While I was there, I was moving all day long. There is no sitting. You're all constantly moving, walking. I actually got more steps each day than I have ever gotten. Um, on my Fitbit, over 20,000 steps every day, which I would consider quite a bit. And it's funny because the locals of Imuyak raise their out eyebrows whenever they see someone hiking for fun or kayaking for fun. 
To them, that's their way of life. They're always moving, they're always active. That's how they survive and live every day. The main focus on this trip was sea kayaking, um, but I'm an avid stand-up paddler, so I brought my inflatable stand-up board along um, to use to explore around the area when we were done sea kayaking for the day. Someone was telling me that, and I didn't think about this before, but I'm probably the first person to ever stand-up paddleboard here. I thought that that was really cool. 